Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a newsletter using Microsoft Word 2007. Now, if you look at here, we have a blank document. So we're going to need a piece of text to work on. So I'm just going to click here and type equals to R A N D. Then I open the bracket. Then I will type 30. Maybe I need 30 paragraphs. Then from there, I type comma then two. So that means I need 30 paragraphs, and each paragraph I need two sentences. Then from there, I um uh, I close the bracket. Then I hit my enter key to have the sample text. Now, if you look at here, I'm having three pages. Now, each paragraph is having two sentences because that's how I shut it. So I'm having 30 paragraphs and each paragraph two sentences. Now, if you look at here, my pages. I'm on page one of three. That means I'm having three pages in my document. And I'm having 1,229 words within the document too. So you can have, you can see that through your status bar here beneath. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to highlight my text. So I'm just going to press or control and A so that I can highlight the whole text inside the document. Now, if you look at the document here, one side, I mean the left side of the text is straight but the other side is kind of jumpy so what i want to do now i want both sides to be straightened so i'm going to use my justify icon here the button so from there or if i want i can use the control and j which is the shortcut so i'm going to press control and j on my keyboard so that both edges will be straight and my document will look nice so i'm going to click anywhere to remove the highlighting so you see that I apply that it will affect all the text in my document because I have highlighted all so the next thing is I'm going to divide my page into two columns so to do that I'll go to the page layout tab then I click on columns so I have so much options here to choose from I have two three left and right so I want to divide it into two so I'm going to click two and you'll see that my text has been divided into two columns well let's say I want a line at the middle to divide it so I'll go back to columns this time I will choose more columns so when I come to more columns then I will make so that I mark line between so that there will be a line at the middle of my page so I'll click OK so you see I have a line at the middle of the page and this one also affects the whole document now I want to have a title here that means so in that case I'm going to use a page header so I'll go to the insert tab then from there I will use the header option which is within the header and footer section so when I click header then I have a bunch of header styles so I'm going to choose alphabet here so when I click on it that will insert a text box which says type the document title here so I'm just going to type news letter sorry good now to close the header I'm just going to click on close header and footer or if I want I can press the escape key on my keyboard now the header is within the margin so it will be shown in all the pages in your document so it will affect all the pages you have in the document then now let's say we also want to insert a page number within the document so I'll go back to insert and use the page number option then the page number I have some options here whether I want the page number to be at the top or at the bottom so I'm going to put the page number at the bottom of the page now at the bottom also you have different sections if you want to place it at the left which is plane number one or plan number two which is at the center of plan number three or other options so I'm going to choose plan number two which will place my page number at the bottom center of my page so I'm going to click that now you'll see that it will insert it in the footer section in the bottom margin then from there I'm going to click close header and footer or I press escape to close the footer then when I scroll down right now I'm the first page so it will show me one if I go to the second page, I will have what two and three. So if I insert more pages, then the numbers will go four, five, six, seven, and so on. 
so the next thing I'm going to do is to apply a page border so I'll go to the page layout tab and in the page background group I will see page borders so I'm going to click there so when I click there then I can come to the styles here and scroll down and I will see different different border styles so let's say I choose this one so I'm just going to click when I click OK then I have the page border so this one also affects the whole document right so let's say I want to put some graphics on my page so let's say I want to add a picture here so I'm just going to click there and press enter then from there I'll go to the insert tab and I go to picture so in the picture then it takes me direct to my sample pictures folder so let's say I want to use this um, picture here water lilies then I will click insert to insert it in that position then from there the format tab will appear which will give me more effects so that I can change the look of my picture so let's say I want to choose this style here good if I want also I can change my picture into a shape so let's say I change it into this shape here which is tear drop then it will change my picture into that shape good then I can scroll down again and come here let's say this place I want to insert a clip art then I go to the insert tab I click on clip art then the clip art tax pane will appear so I'll just type here okay maybe if I want I type computer or I just leave and I click go then it will show me all the clip arts so, okay then I say no say I want to use uh, okay let me use this lady here so when I click that clip art will automatically be inserted here then I can stretch it I can also change by using the picture effects or the picture styles here good right now you see that I have add different things here I have added picture I have also added clip arts into my newsletter so it's quite easy to create a newsletter using a Microsoft Word document. You can add pictures and change, add some effects to the pictures. You can also add clip arts in your document. That's all I have for you in this lesson. And you see how easy you can create a newsletter in just some few clicks. Thanks and thanks for watching.